Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. It is Friday, and that means it's Viewer's Choice Day. Now, what that means for those of you that are just returning after a long absence or are new to the channel is we put up a poll every week for you, the viewer, to decide what kind of cocktails that I'm going to make. Now, this week, it was all about cocktails from certain decades, starting with the 1970s, the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s, or noughties, or whatever they're called. Anyways, you, the viewer, chose the 1970s with 43% of the vote, and that's pretty cool, right? Because there was some really interesting stuff that happened. A lot of my favorite bands come from the 70s, and that's awesome, especially Pink Floyd. Anyways, uh, sorry, squirrel moment there. However, we are going to make four simple cocktails ranging from a simple two ingredient cocktail all the way up to a five ingredient cocktail. We're gonna go easy to last. So you know what, let's get into it. Now this first cocktail needs no introduce, introducing, introduction. It is named after a movie of the same name, The Godfather. It's a simple two ingredient cocktail and for that, you can use scotch, whiskey, bourbon, and some kind of amaretto liqueur. However, I'm going to go with the classic version, which is a blended scotch, and I'm going to use Disserano Amaretto Liqueur. It's gonna be fantastic. So what you're gonna do is grab your stirring glass. It's not shaken, which is perfectly fine. And we're going to start here with our scotch. And for this, we're going to use two ounces or 60 liters. 60 milliliters, not liters. If I was gonna use 60 liters of scotch for one cocktail, I'd be dead, so let's get into it. Three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters amaretto liqueur. Add some ice. And you wanna stir this until it reaches the correct dilution and a chill point for you. Give it a bit of a test. Mm, fantastic. Oh. Now what you wanna do is knock some stuff over. Grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a rocks glass. And after that, we're gonna grab a nice big chunk of ice. Then pour over a large ice block. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a godfather, an eminently sippable cocktail for an easy afternoon. Now this next cocktail is definitely a cocktail of the 70s, when everything started to be bigger, brighter, and sexier in name. Somebody decided to take a screwdriver and replace the vodka with slow gin. And then you have what's known as the slow screw. And that created a whole bunch of different cocktails called the slow comfy screw up against the wall, the slow comfy screw on a glass, because who doesn't like a slow screw? Now we are gonna make one of those, and it has three ingredients. We have slow gin, dry gin, and orange juice. Again, pulp-free, sugar-free, nothing added, right? So this is a stirred drink. So what we're going to do is start with our dry gin, and we're going to add one ounce, or th 30 milliliters. One and a half ounces, or 45 milliliters, slow gin. Three and a half ounces, or 105 milliliters, orange juice. Add ice to the mixing glass. Stir it until you've reached your desired consistency and cold. All right, look at that. Not the most attractive looking glass in there yet, but, oh, fantastic. Nice, simple, easy. So put this off to the side here. Grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a nice highball glass. So what we're going to do is just grab a little bit of ice and we're gonna fill it up like, like. You know, I really hate this set of tongs. <laughs> Anyways. As I was saying, with some ice. Oh, look at that. It looks actually fantastic now. See, appearances can be deceiving when it's in the mixing glass. So we are gonna garnish this, however, with a bit of an orange slice. So we'll just cut off a small piece like so. And we'll just chop it in half, slide it in like so. And there you have a slow screw. The third cocktail we're going to make is called a baby blue. Now it is four ingredients and that being dry gin, blue curacao, pineapple juice, and grapefruit juice. 
And based on the ingredients that I see here, it is not going to be a nice baby blue. However, let's see what actually turns out. So the first thing you need to do is grab your shaking glass. Then what you want to do is grab your gin. And we're going to start with our dry gin and we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. One ounce or 30 milliliters pineapple juice. A third of an ounce or 10 milliliters grapefruit juice. Three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils blue curacao. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit more blue than I thought it would be. I actually thought it would be darker or more of a, a green. However, what we are going to do is shake this with the ice. Nice, simple. <laughs> nice, simple and easy. Grab your top, slap it on there, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Oh yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand grapefruits. Now it would be a an even lighter blue if you had white grapefruit juice. However, all I could get was the red grapefruit juice. And you know what? It's okay, it's gonna taste fantastic. And we're going to put this into a nice martini glass. And we're going to fine strain this, like so. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks so much better than I thought. Oh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, get a bit of an orange peel on top, like so. Pop that off. Because we have it, give it a bit of a, a squeeze and just put that like so. And this is, what the fuck is this called? A baby blue. Now our last cocktail of the night is called a golden Cadillac. It's simple, it's easy, it's creamy, it's chocolatey, it's orangey. It is a perfect after dinner dessert cocktail and it contains five ingredients. Half and half, orange juice, orange bitters, clear creme de cacao, or white creme de cacao, as it's normally called, and Galliano vanilla. Now, originally when this cocktail came out, you would have used Galliano d'Authentico. Uh, anyways, the authentic Galliano, because I can't pronounce it. Anyways, it is a shaken cocktail. So what we are gonna do is grab your shaking glass, and we're gonna grab, grab our creme de cacao. I'm apparently having some issues here. And for this, we're gonna use, <clears throat> one ounce or 30 milliliter. One ounce, 30 milliliters creme de cacao, two dashes of orange bitters. Half an ounce, 15 milliliters Galliano. Half an ounce, 15 milliliters orange juice. One ounce, 30 milliliters half and half cream. Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some ice and we're going to shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So fill that up like so, whoops. Grab the lid, slap it on there like so, make sure it's tight, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand oranges. Move that over like so. Grab yourselves a nice little coupe glass. And what we're going to do is fine strain this. Oh yeah, look at that, fantastic. This is a golden Cadillac, smooth, creamy, and I want it right now. And here we have four classic cocktails from the 1970s, simple, easy to make. We have ourselves a slow screw, a baby blue, a godfather, and of course, to finish off the end of the night, a golden Cadillac. And you know what? I think everybody's going to like every single one of these. They're not boring at all, they're well worth it. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic evening.